Vegetable animals. See this one, just carefully checking around, looking around for whatever bit of nutrition it can find. And if you look at him, still in good shape. So it's obviously working. But difficult to see. It might actually be a her as well, but I just thought probably a youngish or a sort of a beta male, quite a big body, a bit large to be a female, it's difficult to see from me exactly which sex it is, but very healthy condition still, considering the time of year it shows you that these baboons are smart. <laughs> and always entertaining little baboons. Always fun to watch them. Look at that little one. Can't but help but adore these guys. Big old ears. Curious attitude, full of energy. <laughs> when I was a little boy, for a long time I believed I used to be a baboon. My father caught me in the Spitzkop Mountains, which are these beautiful mountains in the desert in Namibia. Just chopped my tail off and shaved my hair, and that's how I came to be me. And I believe that for a while. Obviously, as you go along, you realize that you're not necessarily baboons. You have to give baboons some credit for their intelligence. Really awesome to watch them for a bit. Just at a distance here, were they comfortable with us? Not too worried. To be very honest with you, you guys joining us at Wild Earth, Haley back at the Life Control Center, see much more baboon action and activity than we see on the game drive. Because that troop of baboons at Gary Dam that you often see around sunset or sunrise, early mornings, see some great behavior and play and all kinds of activity from them. This one has got something, still digging for it.
see a very slight breeze just playing with those grass seeds. It's still a bit warm out here. You can almost feel the promise of the evening getting cooler now, but it's almost like the sun is just holding on to the last bit of, bit of hot temperature. This one's found something interesting. I wonder what that is. It's certainly worth digging for. Look at the other one. <laughs> Quite often, they'll use their dominance as well. One animal might try and steal the food from another one. Quite often, it's just pure curiosity. Not, don't want to lose out on something good. Something us humans are very used to. Or shall I say prone to? I think we're going to leave them moving off slowly. This one's heading off. I see the ones in the back also Just having the last bit of feeding. Awesome sighting. It's really enjoyable spending a bit of time with baboons. <laughs> 